Hello, beautiful souls. More is available for them, but then they are going to have to be the ones to do the inner work, to take that leap of faith, and I do sense right away with this page of swords reversed energy, there is a masculine here coming through so strongly and specifically for a divine feminine that I have to mention it right here towards the end of the reading. But what I'm really getting is that there is a masculine here who is connected with an empress reversed energy. So, a karmic feminine, most likely. This person may be in a karmic relationship, but this could also be a platonic feminine figure in their life. But there is an empress reversed energy around them, one who I feel that they would describe this person as overbearing. But it's because this person, this empress reversed, is deeply insecure within themselves, and because they are refusing to grow beyond those insecurities, refusing to evolve, they are actually attempting to hold this masculine with them in these karmic patterns. And this is creating a lot of disharmony in this connection. It's also leading to a lack of growth. This masculine feels like this connection, or that they themselves have really stagnated as they've been connecting with this person, because in a sense, their own refusal to grow is holding them both back from growing and evolving and expanding. And I feel like the masculine here was almost like resigned to this connection. Perhaps they thought that nothing better was available, or they may have logically told themselves that all relationships would feel this way, or that all feminines that entered their life would be this way. I'm getting this karmic feminine energy as well. Maybe one who is very materialistic, very superficially focused. But then I feel that whoever I'm speaking to, again, this feels so specific, but this masculine connected with you in some sense, and you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, the true Empress in the upright position in aligned Empress energy. And I'm hearing have it all, like they see you as someone that has it all, but also someone who is extremely grounded. And something about you has really piqued their curiosity, but it's almost like they're trying to put it down. They're trying to shove down these curious feelings, these feelings of intrigue, they're fighting with themselves here. And I feel that, again, if there's a karmic feminine involved, they're most likely fighting with themselves because they had logically already resigned themselves to this other particular situation or connection. Yeah, with attachment in the upright position, they already felt very much chained or bound to something else. And I feel that the masculine here is feeling like they really want to do something about this. They're actually losing sleep thinking about this and realizing that the more they try to push these feelings away, the more that they seem to be thinking about you even more strongly. The word unforgettable is coming out here. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. My beloved love. So even if your connection or interactions have been brief, I'm also getting that they quite literally haven't been able to. I just keep hearing, I can't put this down. I can't put down the feelings for you, the thoughts of you, your energy. There's just something about you. Yeah, but the masculine here, what's really holding them back is this fear of change with the two of wands reversed. It's like they know that they have to make a firm choice here, but they're feeling indecisive, not because they don't know what they want, but because they're afraid to go towards what they want. This is someone who is just beginning to awaken, so they most likely live their life from a very logical perspective, and everything about the connection that they're feeling to you, Divine Feminine, feels entirely illogical. With the Justice card in the reversed position, this masculine is definitely in some type of karmic holding pattern that they're being pushed to break out of, but there's so much fear here that's keeping them stuck where they are. They may have a lot of material foundation built in this karmic situation, especially if it's a karmic relationship. They may have shared finances with this person or have built something with this person already that makes it feel extremely illogical to let go of this karmic situation. And yet we have the magician card in the upright position. They're daydreaming about you really strongly, desiring. It's almost like they are literally unconsciously manifesting you into their life, and yet at the same time, not being fully prepared to receive you. So that's putting you in a really complicated position, because while this masculine is heavily thinking and feeling about you, 
therefore manifesting more interaction or connection with you, and you may very well be feeling the pull at the same time. They are in this karmic situation that they're afraid to exit, and they are the only ones who can elevate themselves. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. This person knows what they need to do, but they're hesitating. That's the strongest message I'm getting here from someone's guides. And for your part, Divine Feminine, I feel your guide strongly emphasizing that this is not your battle to fight when it comes to these masculines grappling with their own sense of logic or their own ego that's being deconstructed within them. Whether it's one person that you're connecting with or this is happening in multiple scenarios, I feel that your job here is to be the initiator, the activator in the sense that your energy, your presence, your entrance into their life gives them a taste of that divinity, that possibility for them in their life. But then they themselves have to be the one to take that leap of faith to fully elevate themselves onto a timeline where they would be capable of more consistently connecting with you in 3D. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.